Guten Tag, uh, wie geht's? Mes amis, meine Freundin. This is just got out of the shower, Dieter. So Dieter's been talking about expensive guitars and he put out two videos. Sorry for the two videos, I ran out of uh, storage space, that's why. So um, talk about why your expensive guitar may sound worse or better than your less expensive guitar. And this is a uh, further to that. I have a video called uh, Five Easy Things you can do to improve your guitar tone. And I still stand by this. The, the single most important thing in improving your guitar tone without doing any real damage or, uh, you know, a, a work to the actual guitar is to put on a John Pierce armrest and then cut a bevel with a cabinet scraper. Now, those of you who don't know what a cabinet scraper is, it's this is a piece of a... Uh, these are good ones. They're a French saber steel. That's what they make sabers out of, swords. And you sharpen the edges and you, you actually scrape the guitar. Does a better job than sandpaper, believe it or not. If you, if you know how to use the scraper properly, you get a beautiful, it's like a razor fine uh, chisel. The reason I'm telling you about this is um, I've, I've done this to my own guitars. Now, some of the newer guitars, there's a new UV finish that they've been using for the past few years. If you have that micro-thin finish, I believe Cole Clark uses it, Larravee, um, Boucher that I'm aware of. You don't have to touch that finish. But you, you may think, I encourage you to watch one of my old videos. It's called The Truth, I Think, About Guitar Tone. And I'll show you what I do with this. Now, some of you may believe me, but I'll tell you this, Dita is not a liar. I may be a little forgetful sometimes, and I have no concept of time, so I may say, you know, this is 10 years old when it's 15 years old, or 5 years old when it's 10, 10 years old. I, I don't have any concept of time. You could give me three watches, and I still wouldn't know what time it is. Uh, that's just Dita. Now, I'm going to prove something. Um, this only applies. You might have a, if you have an expensive guitar, and let's say you've put on an armrest and it's all, and you still don't like it, I'm going to tell you, okay, there's nothing you can do about the thickness of the top and the braces. That's done. So that's called tuning the guitar. And my pet peeve and why I give Martin and Gibson a hard time, any, any factory that, that runs off thousands of guitars a year, you're going to have the same thickness top. So you lock out on a good one because that piece of wood, whatever it's two or three millimeters, is just, that's where it should have been tuned. And you may have a, the reason, one of the reasons your guitar might not sound good is maybe your top should have been two and a half millimeters and it's 2.8 millimeters thick. Or maybe your top should have been 3.1 millimeters and it's, and it's 3.6 millimeters thick. There's nothing you can do about that. And then the braces, they're, you know, they're usually hand scalloped. Now, you know, if you're making thousands of guitars, you're going to make all the braces the same. Uh, the reason why Boucher's and, and, and boutique guitars usually sound better is they have someone who takes the scrapes a little bit off, taps, taps it. That's called tuning the top. And that's, that's why your top sound. Now, if that, you can't do anything about that unless you disassemble the guitar. And that's, you can't do that. So, well, I'm going to show you this because it's true. I ordered this in 1998, Yamaha. I was disappointed when it came because it, it was beautiful, but it, it, it didn't sound good. And, and the salesman, because I had right of refusal, he says, says, Randy, it just needs to be played. So I said, okay, yeah. So I played, it still wasn't happy. I still wasn't happy until I started, I took a luthier course and I started learning about this stuff. And then I realized, wait a minute. And I thought, you know, the finish was too thick. It, it's nitrocellulose, and if you hear now, it's very resonant. And I'm not lying to you when I say this. I scraped off a big, a big, I'm talking about a 14-inch diameter, 4-inch deep steel bowl of nitrocellulose on this thing. And I scraped it off with this. Now, a lot of you may not have the guts to do that. He took it to a luthier. He said he won't want to do it because, you know, um... I scraped it down almost to the wood and you can see it's still to me it looks gorgeous 
See, I, I left it on and I polished it. But this has a very, very, very thin top on it now, a coating. And after I did it, it and I'm not exaggerating, it sounded three to five times better instantly. So do you have the balls to do that? I, I had a friend, this is why I go on about Martin, had a $7,000 Martin, and that finish was, Jesus Christ, was it thick. It's as thick as Coke bottle ga glasses. I said, I'll scrape the finish off for you for $1,000. You know what he did? He had a, a, a $2,500 Blue Ridge made in China. He let me scrape that off. And he was blown away. It sounded way, way better than his Martin. So I said, okay, give me your Martin. No, he wouldn't do it. He wouldn't do it. That Martin will never sound, sound good. It's just, Dita just deals with the truth and facts. So, this is my old Norman. You can see there's nothing on the headstock because it was silk screened on and, and this was 46, 45 years old. And the finish was cracking. Now I think back in the day they actually used nitrocellulose. I don't think they used polyurethane. But polyurethane is garbage. But you can see, I scraped this right down to the raw wood everywhere. I did. I took one of these and carefully, and, and I have rounded ones and whatever. And I spent two days, about probably total 16 hours, carefully scraping the finish off this and my Yamaha there. I did. Dita doesn't lie. He may have managed some things, but he doesn't lie. That's why this sounds so good. And I made my own shellac with real shellac flakes. And I put on about five, six coats and just rubbed it down. And this is super thin. It's very resonant. And that's why I call it my goddamn Martin Taylor Gibson killer. Because it is. It is. So, there's the truth. So if you have a real expensive guitar with a thick finish, Dita has one question for you. Are you man enough or woman enough? to take some French sabre steel to it and make it sound like it should. Huh? Just a thought. Readers and have a good day. Bye.